Ukrainian drones increased the hit areas by 230,000 square kilometers in a month in Russia, the area of Russia which has become vulnerable to attacks by Ukrainian UAVs, has increased by 230,000 square kilometers in a month. As Verstka Telegram Channel reports, over the past month, Ukrainian armed forces' drones have attacked remote targets in the Russian Federation several times, significantly increasing the flight distance. The potentially vulnerable territory has expanded by 230,000 square kilometers, the publication calculated. For example, at the end of May 2024, a Ukrainian drone flew to the city of Orsk in the Orenburg region. This populated area is located approximately 1,500 kilometers from the combat zone. The drone fell near the village of Gorkovskoy, where the Voronezh M radar station, which is part of the warning system for enemy nuclear missile launches, has been operating since 2016, writes Verstka. It is also noted that last week, on June the 8th, drones flew to North Ossetia for the first time. According to the head of the region, Sergei Menlayo, three UAVs were shot down near the city of Mozdok and the target of the attack was a military airfield. Thus, after expanding to the east and west, the area of Russia's potentially vulnerable territory for drones has reached 1,780,000 square kilometers, the publication states. In recent months, the main targets of Ukrainian army attacks on the territory of the Russian Federation have been oil refineries. In particular, as of mid-March, 16 large oil refineries were in the affected area, accounting for 52% of the total oil refining of the largest enterprises in the industry in the Russian Federation. According to Verstka, there are a total of 38 large oil refineries in Russia, of which 16 were already within range of attacks by Ukrainian drones in March. Together, these plants will process 158.4 million tons of oil per year. At the moment, 22 large oil refineries processing 146.3 million tons of oil per year were out of reach of the Ukrainian army strikes. Russia's tanks in Ukraine may suddenly run out. Warnings are issued in this regard. American shells and ammunition are useful on the battlefield, but so far the weapons provided to Ukraine by Western countries have not had a decisive effect on the battlefield. This is written by the New York Times. Biden's decision made the main difference not on the battlefield, but among all the other countries that followed his example. Ben Barry, a senior fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, told the New York Times. Analysts say that the influx of Western aid has made it easier for Ukraine to defend its positions, but has not yet had a decisive effect. Since Russia retains a significant advantage in manpower and firepower, the New York Times interlocutors suggested that Russia will continue offensive actions for most of 2024. But at some point, it may face a shortage of tanks and armored vehicles. We have seen a really significant number of tanks and armored vehicles fighting on the Avdiivka front since October. And this rate of losses is probably not sustainable in the long term, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow in the Eurasia program at the Foreign Policy Institute. He also specified that Russian troops have not taken advantage of the Kharkiv offensive, although they have managed to force Ukraine to withdraw some forces from the Donbass. Ukrainian Lieutenant Denis Yaroslavsky noted that Ukrainian artillery brigades can now shell Russian troops more often. The Russian offensive has largely stopped, but south of Kharkiv in the Donbass, Russia has resumed attacks on Ukrainian positions, the article says. According to reports from soldiers on the front, military reports and satellite maps of the battlefield compiled by independent monitoring groups, the front line has not moved significantly in more than two weeks despite intense and bloody fighting. Russia is now forced to rely on aerial bombs and longer-range missiles, which are more expensive than artillery shells, the analysts explained. According to Ukrainian commanders, Russian forces advanced about six miles into Ukraine before becoming bogged down by more heavily fortified Ukrainian positions. The commanders also said more Ukrainian troops had arrived to contain the Russian advance and that more American ammunition was being delivered to the front lines. Lieutenant Yaroslavsky said Ukraine could hold its current positions by disrupting Russian logistics nearby by striking inside Russia.